All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, 3A figures, and the figure I'm showing you guys is uh, Judge Death, and uh, it comes with uh, comes in this packaging. Uh, not too happy with uh, the packaging because it is not uh, uh, collectors friendly, and uh, comes with the figure and uh, two extra hands, and on the back of the packaging, you can see another drawing of uh, Judge Death, 2000 AD, right there by the 3A. So let's take a look at the figure itself. All right, and here's the figure outside the packaging. And I really like the look of this uh, character. Um, not familiar with the comics, but uh, I do really like the look of this. And there's the back side of him. And uh, he has a uh, really, really cool shoulder armor. And uh, the elbow pads and knee pads. Uh, quite nice. And uh, I do like the fact that he it's uh, kind of zombie looking and uh, he's got a grinning smile on his face too just awesome and uh, he does have a cloth suit where he's uh, he's wearing a cloth suit uh, with uh, pieces over it unlike the uh, mescal one uh, the shoulder pads are not removable uh, they are on a ball joint type uh, system I guess uh, technically eh, you can remove it if you really try but uh, it's not recommended and um, the badge is not removable it's glued on and uh, the elbow pads are attached on and uh, same with the belt and the knee pads and uh, he does have a cloth undersuit on which is nice so it hides all the articulation points Let's take a look at them from the back again. And as far as range of motion, uh, he's got really good toes articulation. Uh, the knees are okay. I mean, the the, the ankles are okay. Uh, the knees, yeah, you can bend about almost. Uh, you could, you could, yeah, you could uh, go about almost ninety degrees. Uh, the hips are a little um, uh, disappointing because. Uh, uh, it is impeded uh, by the large belt buckle and uh, it blocks uh, where his leg could come up and uh, also the suit doesn't help uh, that much either. And one thing I do like about the hips is uh, the joints are really really stiff which is nice. And then uh, uh, as far as the waist there's a ball joint and then chest also a ball joint and then shoulders are ball hinge and uh, elbows are ball hinge I believe and then wrists are on a ball joint actually uh, elbows are on a hinge joint and then there is a bicep swivel joint and then the head is also on a ball joint uh, one thing I uh, don't like uh, to have a complaint issue uh, with is the shoulder um, you can see how loose it is the shoulder joint it does uh, doesn't uh, stay up uh, his arm doesn't stay up uh, on his uh, right side the left side can stay up uh, fairly well but on the left side you can see it falls right back down and you can still give him like a zombie looking pose uh, where he's uh, charging at you uh, kind of nice um, shoulder pads uh, sometimes does get, does get in the way uh, of the articulation, but uh, not that bad. Uh, one thing you gotta watch out for is this uh, that's the side shoulder pad here. Um, the bird itself has a little tail that's sticking out, and you gotta be careful not to break that piece. Uh, but overall, it is a very, very good looking uh, uh, Judge Death figure. Um, I think we have gotten uh, a Judge Death figure before, I'm not sure from which company, but uh, if you don't already have one, uh, this is a very good one to get. Uh, it's going to set you back about 65 bucks, I believe, somewhere around there, uh, which is about the norm for um, for uh, 3A figures. Uh, they range from 40 to 65 somewhere around there for 112 figures. And uh, one thing I do really enjoy is uh, taking photos with this figure because uh, uh, this is a uh, 